Hello and welcome to this short demonstration to help you quickly get started with using Fortu Research Data's data management and publishing services. My name is Connie Clare and I'm the Community Manager from Fortu Research Data. In this short video, I will demonstrate the process of how to upload data using the Fortu Research Data repository. Any researcher from science, engineering and design can use Fortu Research Data to publish their data. To get started, visit the Fortu Research Data repository via the URL www.data.fortu.nl and log in by selecting the orange login button located at the top right of the screen. If you're from a Dutch institution, you can log in via Surf Connect. If this is your first time logging in, you may have to scroll through a list to select your institution. Otherwise, log in via EduID. Log in using your username and password. Once you have logged in, you'll be automatically taken to your My Data view. You can upload data by dragging and dropping files from your desktop into the browser. You can browse for files or create a new item. This will take you to the metadata submission form. You will see that the fields marked with a green circle are required in order to publish. The first step is to insert a title. Make sure to give your dataset a title that is more descriptive than a file name to improve the discoverability of your dataset within Fortu Research Data and search engines such as Google. To add co-authors, you can search by name, email address or ORCID ID if the author has synced their ORCID ID to their Fortu Research Data account. If a co-author does not have an account, you can manually add them by providing their name and an optional email address and ORCID ID. Hit return after each new entry to add more co-authors. You can also drag and drop the names to arrange them in the order that you wish for them to appear. Select one or more categories that your research best correlates with. You can select categories from the drop down menu or search for your subject area. If you can't find the category that you're looking for, we recommend that you select the most suitable option and provide more specific information in the keywords field. Select the item type that best describes your research to aid in search and discoverability. You can select dataset, which refers to raw data for analysis or software code, which can be uploaded directly from your computer or using the code management system, GitHub. For more information about publishing versions of code in Fortu Research Data, watch our tutorial about how to integrate your GitHub and GitLab account. Next, you need to add keywords. These should be more specific than the category to help others find your data. You can add as many keywords as necessary, just hit return after each new entry. Fortu Research Data will remember keywords that you've entered previously and can suggest keywords based on those that have been entered by other depositors. The description should provide as much context as possible so that others can interpret your research and reproduce it. Here, you should include methodology and techniques used and approval for data collection to confirm adherence to legal or ethical requirements. It's also possible to paste HTML into this field. If your research has been funded, remember to provide funding information. You can search by grant number or search by organisation name. Multiple grants are supported. Selecting a funding organisation that is available within our database 
We'll provide a hyperlink connecting your research outputs to that funding organisation. To add information about a funding organisation that isn't within our database, this is a free text field so you can add information manually without selecting from the drop down menu. You can also link to related resources. Here you can add the title of a peer reviewed article or an additional resource that relates to your data. This will appear on the public metadata form as a resource title. And in the field below, you can add the respective digital object identifier to provide a link to the resource title. In the references field, you can provide links to additional resources or related content that can help to describe your data set. To add multiple links, just hit return after each new entry. Selecting a license will determine how others can reuse your data. You can choose from a number of licenses based on your reuse requirements. If you're unsure about which license to choose, you can click what's this to read a description of each license. The publisher field will automatically be assigned as 40 research data and the language automatically assigned as English. Additional metadata fields that can be completed include time coverage, whereby you can indicate dates to which the data refer, geolocation, whereby you can specify the geographic area to which the data refer, and longitude and latitude, whereby you can specify the geolocation in decimal degrees. This is relevant to geospatial datasets. The format field allows you to specify the format of your data files. For example, the media type, such as an image, could be in JPEG format, or a description of the data file could be gzip shapefile, for example. The data link field allows you to link any additional data that belongs to the current item. This could be a link to an OpenDAP catalogue with NetCDF files, for instance. If your data is derived from another data set, it's possible for you to provide a link to the original data set in the derived from field. And if your data is also available in another location, you can provide a link to the data set in that location in the same as field. In the organisations field, you can name the organisations that contributed to the dataset, separating each organisation name with a semicolon or enter each organisation on a separate line. You may also choose to publish your dataset under restricted access. For more information about this step, you can watch our tutorial about how to publish your data under embargo. Finally, you can select Save Changes to save your submission. Check that all of the information you have entered is accurate and select Publish to submit your dataset for review. Once your dataset is published, it's not possible to change the record. However, it is possible to create a new version. If you have any additional questions or special requests, such as wanting to publish large data files, please get in touch with us. We'd we'll be delighted to help. To view our other tutorials, head over to our YouTube channel. We hope this video tutorial helps make the steps towards publishing your data in our repository as simple as possible. You can find more details about these and other topics on our FAQ webpage. For more information about how Fortu Research Data can support you, please visit our website or send us an email via researchdata at fortu.nl. To find fellow fair data enthusiasts from your research discipline and to join our growing community of researchers and research data support professionals, please visit our community website.